week, friends. Nikki here, and welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and do a synthetic wig review today. Might as well. It's not like I've really got anything else going on around here. My life is pretty dull. I'm not going to lie about that. But yours is not. So I hope you will have time to watch this because I'm going to tell you everything about this wig that you are going to need to know. And yes, I will also show you the inside cap construction of her, but that will be last. So please keep on watching up until the end so you don't miss that either. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts on her in the comments. You can also let me know if there's a wig you'd like me to review. I've done a couple of requests already and I'd be more than happy to do more of them for you. As a reminder, I upload Monday, Thursdays, and Fridays, so join my party. Click the subscribe button. I've got a lot more wigs to review for you yet. If you are a current subscriber, well, thank you so, so very much. That's my little intro I always do, so we might as well go ahead and get on with this wig review. And who I've got today is Janice from Bobby Boss. She's from the Truly Me collection and is a lace front. I've got her in the color TT2-3273. She comes in a few other colors, like this heather gray here on the model, I think is really pretty. She has a deep lace part, is heat safe, and I picked her up from Wig Types for $25.94. I actually want to know your thoughts for certain on this question, too. Does she remind you of Autry's Lisette? I don't know. She might be a dupe. I'm just seeing quite a few different similarities in her. And it's just reminding me of that unit. So I really would like to know your thoughts on that, especially if you are familiar with that unit. But Janice here, I do like. I really like the Truly Me collection a lot because they are simple, everyday type looks. This is one you can definitely wear to work, with casual wear, basically anything, actually. And she didn't take long to get ready. That's the other nice thing about them is they're effortless styles. Just take them out of the package and they're pretty much good to go from that point. Don't have to do much. And she's only about 20 inches, I think. Really nice length with just how you got these loose like waves, simple curls on the ends. Gives it a little extra elegance, but her density is a little bit on the thicker end. So just be aware of that, but it's not bad. I am having this issue with this strand falling down a lot. Why does that keep happening to me? Seems like the last few weeks I've gotten I've had that same problem. Maybe I'm cursed or something. I don't know, but it's more of an annoyance than a complaint. And I did actually have this color before from another unit. Really liked it, so I thought I'd pick it up again. It's gorgeous. You have this number two root that does not go throughout but then you have this really pretty, like, light golden brown. It's so pretty. And you have some darker tone in there along with the lighter. I do like it. And yes, she's got that natural luster I really like, look for. She is soft. I would say she's light, yakky texture. Feels very natural. And I'm really not getting any tangles. Just check it out. Just run my fingers through it like that. That's all you got to do. That's always a positive thing for sure. But let me show you what she looks like from the back. I'm also really not getting any shedding. She does have good movement. And she is this right-sided part, which I actually like this parting space, too. I think it's good job done with it. <coughs> Does lay really flat and blends wonderfully. I'd say it's about, like, maybe three and a half, four inches. I'm not certain. But the depth and width is good. I didn't have to pluck anything. No line of demarcation. There's no baby hairs, though. They says she comes with them, but I don't really see any. I mean, I guess you can count these as baby hairs, but I think they could have done a little bit better with the baby hairs. So I just pulled out some of my own here on the side. You're obviously going to have some lift up. There's that side. I did the same thing with the baby hairs there. So, yeah. I do like her. 
I really do. I think this is a really pretty look. It's perfect with what I'm wearing too. So yeah, I do like her. And that's what I just said. I just said it again. I recommend her. I say go scoop her up. She's pretty new actually too. Therefore you should really have no problem finding her. And that's my recommendation. Don't forget to tell me those things in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And stick around for that inside cap construction that's coming up here in just a sec. And then I will also see you in my next video. So, bye-bye. Welcome back. Now let's take a closer look at the inside cap construction of Janice. I always like to show you what the wig looks like when I'm not wearing it. Very beautiful coloring. I like these curls on the ends too. She was comfortable to wear, and even though I had the adjustable straps put to a little bit of a tighter setting, she was a little snug. And there's also not very much stretchability to the cap, just a little bit. So I would say it's medium sized. And you can see the lining on the inside here. Breathable wig cap. Here's that lace around the perimeter so you can get an idea of the shade of it. Her parting space is curved. There is a one comb right here and then another comb right over here. And then there of course is also one comb here in the back plus her adjustable straps. That is it. Thank you again for watching. See you next time.